Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to Elements Dev Diary episode 72. Now today I've got a new component to show you. It's the modal component and this will be shipping in a future build of Elements. So look out for that. But let's dive in and I'll show you how it works. Now, before we get into building one of these, I want to just show you in the browser how it looks. Um, now, the good thing about this is and all our core components, we've built them to be super flexible. So um, I've hooked up a few modals here and we'll take a look at those now. So I've got this button at the top here. And if I click this, it brings open this modal with an icon and some text in it, which is great. And we've got a little cross here that I can close it with or I can just click on the background. Um, now I've designed another modal on this one. Would you like to visit the forum? And this brings up a dialogue style. And again, these are all designed in elements. You can do whatever you want in here. Um, I've just got a nope button and a visit forum. And this goes off to the forum or nope closes the window. Now I've got two more examples down here, um, which again, these could be used to build your own gallery. You know, because these modals are really flexible, you can really do anything with these. So in this one here, I've just, I've set an image as the, um, as the click zone and then the modal brings up another image here and I've got a little cross and you'll also notice it's a minus um, magnifying glass. So on here, when I hover in, we've got the plus magnifying glass and on the little closed icon, which I've put in here, it could be anything. Um, I've set it to a little minus magnifier. And now on here, um, when we roll over, we've got this eye um, and that's going to zoom in and we've got an image and then some information and a little close button. So hopefully you're getting the idea that these can really be anything. They're just containers. So whatever components we ship in elements, you can put in these. So it's really powerful. Um, so these are just buttons here and these are containers with images in. So let's go back to elements and um, let's go ahead and build one of these and then you can see how it's put together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the new modal component and I'm going to drop it into our grid. So now we've got the modal and you'll see it's just got a trigger drop zone here. And in the top we get a setting to show the modal um, so we can configure it. Let's just change this overlay a little bit so we can see that it's really working. Uh, we'll make that darker and you know we could blur the background as well if we wanted. Um, that's looking pretty good but let's switch that off for now because we want to design um, the drop zone here. And if I just select one of these other ones, let's go to here. Um, you can see the trigger is a container with a background image and then an SVG. So in this one, we can put whatever we like. Um, let's do, uh, I mean, we could just drop a button into here and this can be our trigger. So uh, we can say open modal. Um, and now when I click this, it will open our modal. Let's go in here. Uh, but we've got nothing, we haven't set anything in there yet. So it's just an empty modal, um, which is not what we want. So we need to put some content into this. So if I go to the modal here and we'll show this and now we can start filling this out. So let's put a container in here uh, and I'm going to add some spacing. Let's do 10, 10. All right. And we want a background color. Um, We'll leave it. We'll leave the background color as white and we can put some nice borders on here. So let's we'll just go with default and then it'll be styled like the theme. And then really we can put in here whatever we want. Um, so if you had a video, I could drop that in here and we could just uh, add a video. Uh, but let's do an image. Let's pop an image there and let's go and get a picture of one of our lovely dogs. There we go. It's not my dog, just a dog off the internet, but he does look like a good boy. So let's keep him in here and um, we can change the sizing. Let's make him 50%. Oh, actually, what we'll do is we'll set him to 100%. And on the container, uh, I'm going to change the size of the container. So it brings anything in this is, is going to get um, is going to get scaled. Uh, so let's go to theme spacing. Then I'm going to do some custom sizing and we'll put it to 50% vertical width, maybe, or 60. So that's looking pretty good. Um, 
we could put some uh, borders on this image as well oh, that's set to default so that should have a little yeah it's got a curve on it as well so now we've got a container with our image in um, and we could add a bunch more stuff to this so I could add some text in here very easily um, this is my dog and we'll center that so you can see this is just like designing in the main page you can really do what you want in this um, in this thing uh, let's have a look and because this is just a designer we can change all these um, uh, all the values as well so we get all the uh, all, all the stuff you're used to in the main editor uh, let's just case let's go up a case on this um, you know we can drop another button in here because um, uh, that is one thing we're going to need to do the close button and the way we do this um, we've got the modal close here so if I drop this in um, let's pop that there um, then anything can be the modal close so we can put that text in and that will close the modal for us so let's go and view this so open um, and now I can click on the image and it's not closing um, but if I click on this text boom it closes uh, and obviously that button does nothing at the moment and let's go back to the editor so what we can do um, we can drop a button in there as well so now both of these things will um, will close the modal like that so now I can click on the, the I mean this is useful if you wanted the whole um, image to, to like to be able to click anywhere on it to close it you just put more objects in the modal close uh, option there so yeah really um, really powerful stuff and this is this is um, hopefully you should know by now that's the way we try and build this stuff so that we don't just make it a really limited modal that will only allow you to do certain things you can kind of design it how you want uh, let's hide that um, you know so you get that's why I've got these effects on here you can um, add all the transforms you're used to so uh, let's on hover we could rotate the button 10 oops on hover let's go to end there we could rotate the button 10 and we could scale it up to 130 like this so now I come in here open modal boom there it is um, we can even put an uh, let's show the modal uh, we can even put some transforms on this if we want uh, let's just do this static for the minute and rotate this five um, yeah you know uh, I could scale that up to a hundred 120 um, let's just view this so now uh, I've got my uh, wonky button click on it and now this is wonky as well and we could turn that into a hover effect so that when I go into it um, let's we'll set that to 120 and it's uh, rotate it 10 so now open modal so you can see this is the power of elements here um, allowing you to kind of just design what you want it's really cool um, yeah we could put anything in that modal so this um, hopefully this modal will do everything you need it to do um, let me just show you some options in here so you've got the option at the top to hide and show it then you've got a trigger option so we can um, set what we want the object to the cursor to be um, like on this container here let me where's um, the modal uh, so on the trigger there I've just got it set to a pointer but we could set it to help and now I've got the little help icon there when I roll over it so it would be great for um, yeah a little help section for your site that appears in a modal um, yeah then we've got some um, some basic settings here for the placement um, of where the content appears um, we haven't gone into this too much uh, so the placement could be at the start of the horizontal and vertical let's just do this so you can see it appears up to the side here um, 
you know, so you could um, build yourself a kind of menu there with this if you wanted to. Um, set it to the vertical center. That's looking good. Uh, let's show that again. Um, see, and you probably could set this. Yeah, we could set this to height, uh, to fill, and we'll set that content. So we could fill this up. Um, borders, let's turn the borders off. Um, and where do we have the spacing? Uh, let's just make that 20. Let's view that again. Um, yes, yeah, so now when I click this, I've got a little question mark and this uh, pops in here from the side. It's like a, so you could have, you could build your own navigation here if you just wanted a little button up here that popped in the, um, this. So it's, it's, hopefully this gives you an idea of how flexible this is. Content and yes, we could make it appear over this side. It's, yeah, it's just, it's really, really good stuff. Uh, we can make that light. I'll make this text a bit darker. Um, yeah, very, uh, very, very flexible. Um, I think that was all the options really. Let's just have a quick look. Uh, yeah, we've got the overlay so you can um, change how it looks there. Could have a dark overlay. Um, and then you can put some classes in here as usual with all our controls. Um, yeah, so that is the modal, um, been requested for a long time. And hopefully you'll notice that we're finally getting around to building some of these other components that um, are kind of essential to building your site. So all these ones you've requested over time. So we're just filling in these gaps now. Um, so that's how to use the modal. I hope that's helpful um, for when you do get your hands on this and we will be shipping it in a build soon. Uh, I don't think it'll be this week, um, but let us know what you think of this. Does this look like it does all you need it to do? That's modal in Elements and I'll be back very soon with another component to show you. All right, thanks for watching this one and I will see you soon. Cheers, bye.